So this is new. <laughs> um, this I decided to do Lucifer reactions because I'm very passionate about this show and I hope that you all enjoy them. I'm going to be doing the entirety of season three and if that goes well, um, and more, probably more because this show is just amazing. And the way that they ended season two with him getting his wings back is like... <laughs> Okay, this guy in a truck is speeding down the highway, and he has a gun? Is he the one that kidnapped Lucifer? Maybe? Or did he just kill someone? I oh, oh, he has his wings! Fuck! Holy shit. Okay, not the guy that kidnapped. Just the bad guy. I'm afraid I don't know about Jumba. But I'd say with certainty she's a 34B, if that helps. Whoa! That's... Hot as hell out here, isn't So it? Lucifer. <laughs> the jewel thief is only in his underwear, running... running through the desert. That's one way to get rid of him. What's going on? Oh, is, is he gonna show her his wings? Talk about any start to injury. I, I didn't know that they could grow back. <laughs> Are wings like body hair? No, that was so ridiculous. This is dead. Linda's the so best. Much. But you can definitely text me Ben's number then. She's getting it. Get it, Dr. Linda. This is the scene of a despicable crime. What? Does she see something? I believe you. Oh shit, that's a hand sticking up out of the ground like that. That's not good. Ah. It's relentless heat literally cooking him into one last breath. Yes, Lucifer clapped with me. Good job, Ella. I'm pretty sure this is going to be Tom Welling's character because he was announced as a series regular this year. There he is! Oh man, he's definitely gonna be a love interest. Marcus Pierce. <laughs> Ella. I'm really excited to work with you. I wish I could stay the same. Aren't you that crook cop that got off easy? Excuse me. Uh -huh. no, excuse me. Actually, he's my uh, consultant, to be exact. That's what I said. But, uh, well... Wow, he's the he worst. <laughs> Fire, sword, donut, spaceman, clock, dancing lady, flashlight, thumbs up. <laughs> I know what that means. I ignited the flaming sword, used it to cut a hole in space and time, mum's light flooded through it, then it closed up behind her. All good. And That's then, interesting, the fact that Lucifer didn't say anything to Amanda Dill about his wings coming back. Also, I wonder who's going to be the next to know about Lucifer's secret. My instinct is Ella, as much as I would love it for it to be Chloe. haven't officially met yet. I'm Ella. But I think Ella would be very interesting. Hey, it's Aristu from Bones! How you doing, guy? Okay, so Lucifer just Maybe it's a bit funny. tossed. Hi, I'm Remedy. I'm here to wrap you. Um, give you a massage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Lovely. Um, please remove your clothing and get under the towel. We're gonna need a bigger towel. <laughs> wow. Wow. Go Amenadil, but I feel like something's about to happen. Oh, what's he seeing? Is it a feather? My guess is a feather. Shit, it's a feather. <gasps> he found this first feather. Oh, Lucifer's wings, but they're cut off. He did that himself? That's bullshit. You know, 
think Elle is still in the room, but that's cool. And I don't think he's about to show her. It's too easy, you know what I mean? I have held the real truth back from you, and you of all people deserve to know that, Detective. But his wings were on the floor, so I don't think they're gonna sprout. It's okay. I'm here for you. Oh, they're just the best couple. But it's not gonna work. Once I don't. All, I'd like to show you who I really am. Or I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know how. Well. God, what? Are you gassy? <laughs> <laughs> His face isn't changing. You know, I keep tearing, and you, you just. Just. That detective. What the hell happened? I have the most experience in the field, so if something goes wrong, then... You're expendable. Exactly. Thank you. Now go get kidnapped, Esperanza. Jeez! It's gonna take me a little while to warm up to him. I mean, he's a great A douche, but like... He's like douche... Detective Douche 2.0. Making a memorial for Leo, and it just knocked back. That's so funny. That's cool. I like that Ella kind of like gave him an Adela a reality check, not a reality check, but a like kind of like you're good, you know. <laughs> oh my God, Lucifer's like. It's obviously not the guys. Like they're just hired. They're like people working in a business. Remember the detective who found the keychain? Doesn't exist. At least not in Lancaster PD. They only set patrol against the scene. Whoa. I should have expected something because I recognize the actor picking up the keychain. Whoa! Holy super strength! Hello, Lucifer. Someone paid to have him do that. You gotta trace it. Oh shit, okay, his wings are there. But what the hell? He did cut off his wings. I am here to solve crimes, not to see his his thing or whatever, which is <laughs> Oh Chloe, you're just digging yourself into a hole right now. Right. Have you ever heard of someone named the Cinnamon? The Cinnamon. Ooh. Okay, Lucifer and Chloe are underneath a a boardwalk. Oh shit! It's Sam, the guy that kidnapped Lucifer. He's on a pool. Okay, Ron, so that was the first episode of Lucifer Season 3. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see how these reactions hold up. Um, considering it's a whole new show for me on this channel, I'm hoping things go well with it. But we're going to recap the episode because a lot happened. First off, we have Lucifer's wings are back and a guy, uh, Robert, is driving in the middle of the desert and Lucifer stops him with his wings and we see like full force how amazing they look. And then Linda finds out about the wings. I love how she's just so accepting of it at this point. It's kind of like, oh! got your wings back and she did not want to cut them off and I was like thank god and it turns out that cutting them off it's not gonna work because they grew back but we also had an explanation on why Maze wasn't in the episode she's out bounty hunting but in real life the actress who plays her had a little baby so that's she might be in and out I don't know how they're gonna do it for the first couple episodes but we'll see and also we had about uh, a body found where Lucifer was kidnapped um, and it was kind of a connection towards the whole Lucifer kidnapping thing. Um, also we had the introduction of Tom Welling, also known as Marcus Pike, and he seems like a grade A douchebag. Like I said before, douche detective or lieutenant douche 2.0. Um, he just seems like he knows everything, but obviously he doesn't. I mean, he could end up, like, being the sinner man. I don't know. That'd be a really cool twist, but we'll see. Uh, he also was, I hope he doesn't become a love interest for Chloe, because I could see them doing that, just because it's something different, you know what I mean? I mean, there was nothing alluding to it, but he's just, he's a very attractive human, and 
you know, like you need you need something to throw into that Lucifer and Chloe love love thing because last year we had a lot of like confessing, not confessing of feelings, but kind of a confirmation of feelings between those two. So it's kind of like you need a wrench to throw in because things are never easy with Lucifer. Also, we had Lucifer trying to reveal himself to Chloe, which I knew it wasn't gonna happen. But like my hopes were up. My hopes were up and I was very disappointed. But it also gave us, us, the audience, a revelation because Lucifer no longer has his devil face. Which means is he a full blown angel now? Is that how that works? Oh, I don't I don't know. And then we have Amenadol finding the wings of Lucifer because we saw him cut him off and stuff like that. So that was interesting. I was like, what was happening with there? And then we had the whole Dan and Charlotte stuff which I found very cool because I was hoping that the Dan Charles arc wasn't a whole one and done because that was really interesting last year. Also, I know that like Charlotte isn't going anywhere. The mom's gone for now. Maybe we'll see her again someday. But Charlotte Richards is still a thing, which I have no idea how they're going to incorporate her into the story. And then we have Amenadil and Ella becoming friends, which is really cool because they're both the most holy and believing people on the show. And I like how Ella basically gave Amenadil some hope again that this, no matter what, is all of God's plan and stuff like that. Also, we had Lucifer being kidnapped, like kidnapped, and the whole picture of him giving a thumbs up was awesome. And then we saw him being tortured, the two very bad torturers, and then go to Sam because we found out Sam, the guy from the beginning who picked up the piece of evidence, is actually someone. I kind of figured because I recognized the actor, but I totally forgot about him. But um, we got that, and then we had the introduction to the Sinner Man, who hired Sam to kidnap Lucifer. And I'm wondering, is it going to be a whole who is the Sinner Man thing? Or is it going to be a whole new actor introduced? I'm not sure. But he seems pretty deadly because he had Sam at the end of the episode put on a, on a pike. Or not on a pike, but like a, a coil of metal, which was pretty gross. But other than that... That's all that happened in the Lucifer season three premiere. I'm excited to watch the rest of the season. This show is probably the funniest show on television. Also has, I think, some of the best acting. Personally, I think Tom Ellis, who plays Lucifer, is one of the best that's like on TV right now. The way he just portrays it is really damn cool. And also the rest of the cast is phenomenal. Like Lauren German and just, Every, ev everybody is just so good and I hope you come along with this ride with me and if you don't watch Lucifer and for some reason you watch this video why <laughs> but no but like watch it it's really damn good okay everyone thank you for watching and if you want to see my previous reaction all you have to do is click the link in the description and as always I will see you next time